In days of yesteryear, the bad guys could just go a few yards offshore and do their dirty deeds while police stood helplessly on the beach waiting for the Marine Patrol or the Coast Guard to show up. But Ted Brown tells us, at least on Atlantic Beach, those days are over. It's a big, bad ocean out there, and if you get in over your head, you're pretty much on your own. There are lifeguards around, but not all the time, and even their range is limited. Of course, if you're 50 yards out and you're counting on somebody like me to save you, you might as well be off the coast of Africa. So let's say you're well offshore, caught in an undertow, seriously sucking seawater, Johnny Weismiller is dead, and Mark Spitz is busy with product endorsements. Who's going to save you now? It's the Atlantic Beach Jet Ski. Up to now, jet skis were just something to call up and complain about to the police. But now it's the police who are on them. In the past, there's nothing we could do but call Marine Patrol or call the Coast Guard. Now we've got a means of addressing it ourselves. At 35 miles an hour, a jet ski can get to somebody in the water a heck of a lot faster than a swimmer or a boat from Mayport. It can help people in trouble or even nail somebody making a jerk of themselves on another jet ski. It's those positive public relations considerations that prompted Kawasaki and a local dealer to donate this one to Atlantic Beach. <laughs> of course, now that they've got it... I'll send somebody back for you. <laughs> all they have to do is figure out how to use it. Just like anything else, it takes practice. Yeah. And you can't go out on, on a machine like that and know what to do. You've got to be taught how, and you've got to go out and do it until you can do it right. And they should have it down by Labor Day. Are you still Ted Brown, Channel 4 Eyewitness News. Not as easy as it looks.